Well, Hammer, a, a disappointing result for Andrew Welsh, unfortunately injuring his hamstring uh, in the second quarter on Saturday night. Yeah, look, it's been a tough year for Andrew. And he, he was doing such a great job. He obviously had a, had a job to, to play on Scarlet. And he was doing it really well. So, yeah, when he, he let out for the ball and we saw him grab that hamstring, I think we all knew uh, the consequences of that. And that is at least uh, three weeks on the sidelines. Uh, we'll have an MRI uh, at some stage early this week to just confirm what we already know, and that's a, a hamstring strain. And um, The doctors are reasonably confident it's probably a three-weeker. His, repo his replacement substituted on was Travis Collier. He did a great job, but uh, he appeared to do what was an ankle injury, but uh, we believe it's not an ankle. Look, it's actually a slight knee injury, not an ankle injury. And uh, uh, But look, he came back on the ground and played terrifically well, so... Uh, now, we would hope there won't be too many um, problems with that. It's, not, it's nothing major, um, but uh, we'll see how, how he goes during the course of the week. OK, so still a chance to play. David Zaharakis appeared to be injured on his face. Uh, any updates there? Is he OK? Yeah, we're a little bit concerned because uh, obviously he's got model good looks and uh, um, you know, a cut uh, to his mouth uh, was a little bit of concern for him in particular. And, but no, he's fine, stitched up. Uh, at this stage, no plastic surgery needed or required. Oh, the Greek community will be very happy about that. OK, let's talk about a few of the boys in the rehab, uh, especially with hamstrings, Joe Watson and also David Myers. How are they progressing? Any chance for this week with those two? Now, neither of those guys will play. It's, um, but they're progressing well. But uh, the reality is your, your minimum's two weeks that you miss and, uh, and most commonly three these days. So, uh, um, so look, there's, there's no chance either of those boys will play. Lovett Murray's the other one with his, uh, with his calf. And... We wouldn't expect um, him to come up this week either because the reality was he did it on a Friday before a game. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a minimum three to four weeks, uh, this particular type of injury, so he's, he's not available either. Bendigo had a bye on the weekend, so no, no injury news from the Bendigo team. But uh, Scott Gumbledon, who played, has been playing well a couple of weeks back and now he's had another weekend off, a bit of rest. Can you give us an update on how he's progressing, how his body is, and if you think we're a chance to see him this year in the first... Oh, certainly a chance to see him. He's, uh, he's played two games back, and what we've done is just gradually increase his percentage game time. So he hasn't yet played a full 100% game, but in the two games he's shown some really good signs, and uh, we would expect this week that he'll play a full game for Benny Go, and uh, that'll continue his progress. And uh, you know, as long as he, he keeps playing well, we'll, uh, we hope to see him not all that far away. Thanks, Hammer. Thanks.